Brett Pontecorvo here at MainStageToAbleton.com. And today we're talking about how you can record automation. Um, great news, it is not super difficult. Um, I'm going to have you up and running, show you how to do this very, very quickly. Um, so first things first, I have a clip here that I've recorded. I'm going to play it for you. Brilliant. All right, so all you need to do in order to have Ableton hear what you're recording is click this box. Um, and then it's going to be much the same way that you would overdub. Now, if you need help with overdubbing, feel free to scroll down into the details below um, and follow my link to my video all about overdubbing. But in this um, scenario, we're actually only going to be talking about... Um, about recording automation. So uh, I'm actually going to double this loop a couple times. So we have a little bit to work with here. Um, now I would like to have it be a pretty uh, tame pad um, and then slowly open the filter and slowly bring in um, my sort of uh, side chained compressor buzz. Um, and rather than drawing that in with automation, which you can also uh, check out my video on drawing automation uh, in the details below, um, I want to record it in um, with my MIDI controller. Um, yeah, so let's have a look here. Um, so I'm using uh, push two uh, to control these guys. However, um, I also have a launch pad set up here as well. So um, whatever you have, even if you're just working uh, with your mouse, you can still um, record. Um, use what you have, learn to use it well. That will get you much further um, than hunting for new gear. All right, all that to say, uh, I'm going to enable this recording. Whoop, not quite ready for you yet. Um, and we're going to start with a more closed off frequency and put it at about 300. Uh, I'm going to probably also increase the shimmer, or maybe decrease. We'll decrease the shimmer as we go along. Um, I'm going to turn this reverb at about halfway and depth to totally off to start. All right, here goes, guys. We're going to record some automation. Sweet. So now we've got uh, some automation written. Let's check this out. Here's my frequency, my depth, my shimmer. Now, if I need to go in and edit any of this, I can do that. I can click here. If you select them all, you'll be able to move them all. Um, or you can draw in with your pencil if you want to edit it slightly. Um, it's an easy way to do it. And that's it, guys. That is how quick and easy it is to record automation using Ableton Live. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to Ableton, and especially if you're switching from MainStage, head over to my website at mainstagetoableton.com forward slash go to get your free copy of the Fast Track Patch List Guide today, which will have you up and running uh, with a MainStage style patch list in Ableton Live. And to stay up to date with all of our latest blog posts, be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel here.